good morning it is me zeptic hitting you with a double upload today because i need to talk about something that i, I this is a follow-up video to the video that i made a week ago about the running vanguard or actually any type of anti-cheat that isn't supposed to run on a virtual machine under a virtual machine too in fact it, it gets pretty complicated actually doesn't it's actually pretty simple and anywho this video will uh, act as a follow-up to that video uh, addressing some questions very common problems that a lot of people had and uh, it will uh, address the dreaded performance impact that you have when you enable nested virtualization and on a hypervisor under a hypervisor uh, under a hypervisor and then run windows on it second thing that i'd like to address this method of running a, a virtual machine will most probably not get you banned and most probably will not get patched out for a couple of reasons uh when you enable hyper-v what actually happens is you run you run the microsoft hyper-v hypervisor under the kvm hypervisor so if you were to actually enable hyper-v in a bare metal windows uh installation the exact same thing would happen except that you know you would not be running under a kvm hypervisor you'd just be running with bare metal but under the hyper-v hypervisor and you do that to be able to run virtual machines uh, under windows god forbid you ever have to do that so anybody using windows with hyper-v enabled would not be able to play valorant if this method were to be patched and second reason uh, is that hyper-v itself is actually pretty much industry standard and comes with industry standard uh, technologies to prevent the manipulation of memory which is what most anti-cheats do anyways to to get past uh vanguards so i i till now haven't seen anybody be able to hack in, in this game using this method nor have i nor do i expect something to come out in the future that would so so for anybody who's actually you know not planning on cheating in this game this is good news you should be fine and your account will most probably not get banned considering it, it's been around six months till not only me but a bunch of other people have been able to play this game uh completely fine without any sorts of bans and the only person that i've a actually seen getting getting banned in valorant um I, like i was in a game with them i was using a virtual machine they weren't they got banned and that too for using mcafee so that's that's great and all running mcafee will get you banned in this game but running the game under a virtual machine under a virtual machine under linux will not get you banned that's vanguard for you second thing that i would like to address is the performance Se second and actually last thing that i would like to address is the um, performance issues that a lot of you have been having uh so i i think it should come as no surprise that if you run a virtual machine under a virtual machine there will be performance degradations and to fix that i've actually like included my entire xml in my last video which was which was a mistake because it's a huge xml and i'm not the best at making virtual machines if, if i'm gonna be quite frank with you uh, so copying it down isn't is most probably not the best method of uh getting getting what is seemingly just uh a bunch of hyper v enlightenments enabled so uh, so i'm i'm going to show you how to how to do that right now and i'm also going to be showing you how to do do this if you have an amd cpu because it's it's a bit different for amd cpus the uh, hyper v enlight enlightenments that you add for intel cpus if you add that on an amd it will pretty much have an op pretty much have the opposite effect i do not know how that works it just does just, just deal with it okay i am as confused as you are so there's that so over here what i have is basically the solution to every single problem you might be having all you have to do is follow these five simple steps very carefully the first step is of course to upgrade to kernel 5.11 and above if you have ubuntu you can use or any distribution based off of ubuntu you can use the ubuntu kernel upgrade utility or UKUU. it is very nice and works flawlessly if you're an arch i highly highly recommend you uh, check out the tkg kernel and uh, while compiling the tkg kernel i, I recommend you do timer frequency to 1000 hertz that is going to give you the best performance for kvm i know a lot of kernels below 5.11 work fine but just to be absolutely um but as hyper v 
updates like with every single update of windows you will have to do a kernel update because as hyper-v updates it changes things that uh, need to be changed on the linux side of things to get it working so if you don't do that you're going to face a blue screen and uh, step number two is uh, if you have an intel cpu all you have to do is uh, under domain under features hype you have hyper-v right you copy all of this and paste it um, like under domain paste it over here as you can see i have it under domain under features and right here hyper v right you're going to take all of this you're going to paste it here and then uh this part is really, really important if you want good performance out of your virtual machine so uh, you just take uh, this part from clock and you're going to put it under domain so i have it yeah right here it doesn't matter where you actually paste it it's automatically gonna organize it for you as long as you got the indentation right so so there's that and that's all you have to do for intel if you have an amd cpu you're unfortunately not done yet what you're gonna have to do is first of all over here at the top you're gonna want to copy this and paste it right uh usually it's this domain and that's it but you're gonna have to add this to enable uh qmu command command line or arguments to be enabled right and uh, when you add this make sure to not click apply right because if you do it's just going to revert back to domain for it to stay like this you're going to have to paste this and go down below and add these lines in here on the domain like right before the uh domain tag ends right and then hit apply and then neither of them are going to revert for me uh, since i don't have an amd cpu i have i actually have some uh, i actually don't have th uh, these lines over here uh the the lines that i actually have are for if the pass through and pulse audio pass through uh which if you're interested in i'm going to be including in my um ultimate vfio guy that i'm planning on making with that literally covers every single thing that you might want to get set up for the perfect vfio experience now for step three, if you have an AMD GPU, uh, especially the newer ones, like the 6800, 6700, whatever, do not use the vendor reset DKMS modules. I actually do not know what they are because I've never used them, so I've never faced the problem myself. But if you do, uh, with the vendor reset DKMS modules, you are going to face a boot loop because the AMD drivers will fail to launch. Step four is uh, just enabling Hyper-V under, uh, under your Windows Virtual Machine. I've covered this in my previous video. You can go watch it if you haven't and step five is to just after you know, enabling hyper v and rebooting you install valorant and reboot again and then play the game and yeah that's literally all you have to do anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video if you uh, enjoyed please leave a like i would very much appreciate it and also i'm uh, planning on making a video covering the best setup of vfio that i've been able to that after Two years of actually dealing uh, with this stuff i've actually been able to produce it's going to cover single gpu pass through and and by single gpu pass through i mean like even if you have two gpu pass through you you'd find advantages of using this because you are able to use your powerful gpu on both linux and windows like currently i am running linux on my igpu but i'm running my windows virtual machine under my nvidia gpu both of them are running at the same time i'm able to switch between them by literally just switching the modes on my um, display before I, I used to actually have another monitor like sitting right here but i broke it and other things i cover is fdev pass through so you actually need only one mouse and keyboard and literally you if you press both control keys at the same time on your keyboard it switches between linux and windows and there is literally zero noticeable input like when you do this method and i and i'm pretty sure this is actually even better than doing normal mouse and GP, uh, mouse and keyboard pass through like i've had more consistently good result with fdev rather than mouse keyboard pass through which people actually don't even recommend i'm also going to be covering pulse audio pass through which would basically mean that you do not have to buy a separate sound device for your virtual machine you can literally route all the audio from your virtual machine to pulse audio so you're able to hear the audio from your virtual machine from linux itself this method adds basically no latency and the sound quality is good enough like there's there's no crackling and if and, and even with these headphones i am not able to notice a noticeable difference between between it and and yeah it's it's basically the most convenient 
method of running a virtual machine to the point where I'm able to get all of my work done, not only under Linux, but Windows, and I am able to switch between them in a matter of seconds. So yeah, if you're interested in that, do subscribe to my channel. I'll be making that video very soon. So yeah, that about it. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, I'll see you.